I'm Mark Dresner and welcome to DDP TV, a special interview series featuring experts and leaders in drug delivery and development. Joining me today is Jim Collins. He is the Vice President of Drug Delivery and Device R&D for Eli Lilly and Company. Jim, thanks for joining us today. Mark, you're quite welcome. Um, let me start out with a pretty broad question and let's see where you go with it. What are the main challenges in healthcare industry today? Well, I think that the main challenges with regard to healthcare is really, you know, how do you provide affordable, high-quality uh, health care with a broad access to the, the patient population, not only obviously in the United States, but, but, but throughout the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I think overall we're blessed here to have a great health care system, but really making sure that the, the right patient gets the right treatment at the right time uh, is, I think, one of the most uh, significant challenges that exist, and especially as more options become available, I think that's just going to become um, I'll say more difficult for the for the healthcare system, but I think there's a lot of technology that's coming that should uh, that should help the uh, healthcare professional in the future. Okay, and along similarly uh, along those lines, what what opportunities exist for pharmaceutical companies to um, improve patient outcomes, if you will? Well, I think the pharmaceutical um, pharmaceutical industry is in a unique position to try to help the overall healthcare industry. I mean, we, we're not fundamentally a huge percentage of the other overall healthcare spend, mm -hmm. but I think we are uniquely positioned to address a number of the significant healthcare challenges that um, I think uh, this country faces as well as other areas in the world. Clearly, I think you see a, a diabetes epidemic, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, not only here in the United States, but, but clearly in a number of the different emerging markets as the uh, as the um, basic, um, I'll say, dietary uh, situation changes, mm -hmm. I think you, you see that the emerging needs and the continued needs in oncology. I think the uh, the pharmaceutical industry has a unique role to play in both of those different disease states. I think as you look at some of the different neuroscience disorders, uh, specifically with regard to Alzheimer's, you know, one of the recent uh, presentations talked about, you know, what can uh, pharmaceutical companies do to reduce the overall total cost of care. Mm -hmm. When you look at some of these diseases and you look at the, the cost of hospitalization, you look at the cost of nursing homes, I mean, the significant, um, significant cost. And then we have just a general aging population. I mean, the baby boomers are just right now entering into retirement. You look, um, you know, you can define life as the ability to move and the ability to think. Well, I think the healthcare industry and, and specifically the pharmaceutical industry is uniquely positioned to maybe help uh, this aging population maintain their mobility with uh, drugs with regard to you know bone muscle and joint as well as uh, as drugs that can help maintain uh, cognition and therefore uh, help people live a, a really fulfilled life for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. Jim, how may novel combinations of drugs and devices assist pharmaceutical companies uh, and the broader challenges that uh, surround them in, in healthcare? So I think that's a great question. And obviously, if you look at, at this conference and, uh, and the industry that we are, the segment of the industry we're participating in, that's one of the, the central questions. I think drug delivery and combination products play, have played and, and do play today two unique roles, and I see an emerging role that they could play that really could impact where, where things will go in the future. Mm -hmm. Clearly, one drug delivery can help enable these breakthrough medications. You know, you have a lot of different drugs coming forward. You see the, the potential clinical efficacy, but the drug just cannot get to the, the target. Whether that's, you know, enabling uh, oncolytics to be able to hit the right target with the nanotechnology, mm -hmm. whether that's uh, technology such as was discussed here with regard to Medtronic about crossing the blood-brain barrier with a pump. The reality of the matter is without those drug delivery technologies, th those drugs are never going to be able to reach their target, never going to be able to have the impact that, um, that you would like them to have. I think there's a second role that drug delivery plays, which is how do you just make, um, make it easier for a patient to take the drug? And, and I think you see a lot of the different combination drug devices. You know, I often tell people, um, you know, uh, sticking yourself with a needle is not a natural act. Uh, the people who did that probably self-selected themselves out of the gene pool a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, as you look at these different technologies that can help bring the biotech revolution, you know, to the patient, enable them to take these drugs and to overcome some of those different hurdles, clearly that is a role that a number of the different um, technologies here can play to make products more convenient. I think the third area that's going to evolve here in the, in the future is going to be 
uh, the ability to leverage delivery devices to help people better manage their therapy. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, you, if you look, you know, how do you uh, achieve outcomes with delivery technology? Well, you need to either be able to help reduce the barriers to people taking their drugs, or you have to be able to give them information in such a way that they can take their drugs more effectively. Mm -hmm. And I think the third evolution which we'll see is the integration of information technology with uh, drug delivery in order to help people um, be able to just manage their therapy better. So clearly a, a huge uh, opportunity for delivery devices and a big role to play moving forward, no doubt about that. John. I don't think there's any doubt about yeah, that, Mark. Yeah. Okay, well thanks for your uh, perspective and take today. I think it was very informative and I think we have a lot to learn and a lot to uh, look forward to. Hey, thank you very much. On that note, we'll conclude this episode of DDP-TV. I'm Mark Dresner, thanks for joining us. Oh,